Hey YouTube fam, this is Robert with Coastal GX. In this episode, I was planning on simply reviewing one of the most valuable and essential pieces in my camping gear collection. It was supposed to be a quick opinion video, but something bad happened as I was leaving the island that caused me to call this tent the best tent in the world. So in order to better tell the story, let me leave the island and continue the video in McAllen. So I just got back from another epic uh, adventure trip to the East Cut, hanging out with my friends. And um, unfortunately, something bad happened along the way when I was coming back. Uh, I thought everything had been secured properly. Uh, you know, I carry a lot of stuff on, on, on the roof of, uh, of Sandy over here. And I was on the way back. I was about to uh, climb the, the Port Isabella Causeway when a big gust of wind just had my Gazelle T4 tent fly off the roof. My heart broke because I saw it in the rear room mirror and uh, it just went, you know, skidding around on the street and ended up on the side of the, of the highway there of the, of the bridge. Luckily for me, uh, my friend Mark, he's my hero. The guy was uh, several cars back. He saw it when it happened pulled over to the side. I don't know how he did it, but that, was, that took a lot of guts on his part. Got off and rescued my tent. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm forever in debt to you. Um, but anyway, so it leads me to this video that I'm creating today. Uh, I wanted to give my testimony to the tent. Now, I have not opened it up yet. I just got home. The vehicle's still full of sand got the tent off the rooftop and uh, now I have it here behind me. I'm gonna get some video, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna see how it survived. I'm gonna see what type of damage it sustained because I was doing about 50 miles an hour when it happened. I was barely going up there and like I said, it just fell off. If it survives, that's gonna be the ultimate test. I haven't opened it up or anything like that. So I'm gonna see you know, if it's still functional, what was damaged or whatever. But anyway, I hope you learned something from this uh, from this video. And if you're looking for a good tent out there, I mean, I'll never push anything that I haven't tested myself, but I've been using this tent for many, many trips. And it's been over a year and a half now using it constantly out there. And it's my go-to. Now we all use this thing because it's been proven time and time again that it is a very reliable tent, especially if this is what you do all the time. Anyway, let's open it up and let's see what happens. Whoa, let's stop the video right there. Before we find out what happened with the tent that fell off the roof, let's go back to South Padre and talk about the tent for just a while. <laughs> I think the oldest tent around here has got to be my Gazelle T4 tent. I've had this for a long, long time now. I've used it dozens and dozens and dozens of times out here five nights in a row and uh, it never failed me, not once. Everything that it's made out of seems just to be built with a lot of quality, very thick material stuff that will not rip if you're just going to do this maybe once or whatever i mean i understand if you want to go with a cheaper model but uh if you're gonna if you know that you're going to be doing this and you don't want to spend all this time just working on trying to set up your tent or tear it down or whatever you know this is a great a great uh, uh option for you now let's walk in here and i can show you at least it's a little dirty, obviously, because of the sand and all that stuff. But I can show you that, you know, well, we'll try to keep it quiet because my son's asleep over here. But it's been a long, long day. So we have enough space in here. You know, as you can see, it's a queen size bed. Queen size bed. Bunch of windows over here. Very airy. Uh, and 
It's really secure. I mean, I've been out here when it's been raining. No water gets in here. Um, really neat because I can go ahead and there's like a Velcro, like an industrial type Velcro uh, that goes along, as you can see right there, right at the edge of the floor between the tent and the floor. And you can just remove that and you can go ahead and bring in one of those uh, 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 extension cords and you have power in here. I have the silent generator out, out there and I just bring it in through here, put a little fan here and I have my queen size uh, air mattress. No problem, no problem. So queen size air mattress and we still have all this room to walk around here, around it. Such an awesome, awesome um, setup. Uh, look at these, look at these uh, zippers, man. Just high quality stuff. No tears, nothing. Remember guys, this is not the type of tent that I just have laying around, you know, in the garage I never use. I'm always using this thing. And uh, it's done such a great job. I mean, I wouldn't be pushing any product if I hadn't been testing it myself. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and step out. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that it's got, it's got two, uh, two doors. There's one door on this side, and there's yet another one, another half moon door over there. So yeah, highly recommend the Gazelle T4 tent, guys. Check it out. Oh, by the way, you really want it, make sure you go through my Amazon links in the video description. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. here with Aaron. Aaron, tell me a little bit about why you chose the Gazelle tent and the gazebo. Um, I mostly chose the Gazelle because, I mean, it takes literally 90 seconds for this thing to set up. I mean, we used to have this other eight-person tent. I mean, it took me an hour and a half to set up and take down, and now it's like I can get this whole setup done in like two minutes with the tent, the gazebo, and even a little porta potty that we got. And mainly, I mean, Compared to this one and my other tent, I mean, my other tent, we used it about three times and I had a total of four rips in this one. Of course, I had one problem with the rain fly, but I mean, they've already replaced it. I emailed them and sent them pictures. They replaced it within three days. So, I mean, the company's always been really great. And I've only had the Gazelle for about a month now and used it three times and it's just been great. I love it. Compared to the, the, the other brands I've had, it's very easy to set up. It's durable. I've uh, broken one of the rainfly poles, but that was from a canopy getting launched 20 feet up in the air and landing on it. But Gazelle stood right behind it. I had a replacement, multiple replacements in less than a week. So great company to buy from. It's a great tent to set up. It's durable. The cross ventilation in it is, is good. Um, again, it's easy to set up. Uh, I think my next purchase is going to be the gazebo like my son's got. I probably set it up in three minutes, 10 minutes blowing the air mattress up inside. You know, I put a queen air mattress in it, you know, that's up off the ground. I sleep better in this than I do at my house. Show me, brother. So here you go. The zippers are great. So. Look at that, pure luxury right here. Yep, then when you get home, you take the bottom off, shake it out, put it back together. I've gotten quite a bit of sand in it today, but yeah, it's to be expected. Unfortunately, the rear-facing dash camera was not on when it fell off the roof and we missed the heartbreaking shot of the tent as it fell on the causeway. Now back in McAllen, I bring down the tent to reveal the extent of the damage sustained in that fall.
Okay, so this is what I noticed already. You can see, you can barely see it here, but you got all the road rash here. All the stuff right here. I have a couple of cuts on the bag. It's a very durable bag, man. And uh, this is the most of the damage. This must have been the part that hit this one right here. As you can see, it's got all this, uh, all these tears right here. I'm gonna have to repair that, but it still survived. I was doing at least 50 miles an hour when I was up there, and uh, it fell from the top of the roof. So it must have hit pretty hard. But anyway, let's open it up and let's see. Please, please, please. I hope it. I hope it's still functional. See what happens here. So, this is a rain canopy right here. The part that goes on top. I don't see anything broken yet. I'm gonna put off. Put that off to the side. And then I'm going to remove this thing right here. Let's get the tent out. There's the bag right here. Huh. The stakes are still here. Awesome. Put that off to the side. The bag still seems to be functional. Let's open this up. Let's see what's happening here. Let's pop these out. Pop them. Pop them. I got another wall to pop. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow. Incredible, incredible guys. So far, so good. I like what I'm seeing. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Don't need to pop that roof. Now, this is not the way I normally do it because I usually have it, uh, usually have, oh, let me get in here. I mean, oh, popped it. Whoa, there's all this sand in here with me. Oh my goodness, everything is, guys, everything is awesome. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Guys, I think it survived. I think it made it. Uh, so now I'm gonna collapse the, I'm gonna collapse the roof and I'm gonna try to put that rain canopy to see that's the ultimate, that will complete it. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on, let's see, let's see what's going on here. So far, so good. If I have to replace the canopy, so let it be it. Let it be, I don't care. But the main thing is that I still have a tent. I still have my favorite tent ever. All right. Let's see what's up. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm trying to do this on my own here. Oh. Put that here. Put it over here. Okay, there's the other one. I just need one more. One more. Need to get inside. Let's get in here. Let's pop that roof. 
Come on. Okay, popped. I popped it. Okay, here we go. This thing is still working. Yes! So now you see why I'm calling this the best tent in the world. I was already impressed with the performance, room, ease of setup, and durability. But having survived the fall from Sandy's roof on the causeway was the ultimate test for me. Again, a huge thanks to Mark Clark for retrieving the Gazelle T4 tent. If you're interested in this tent or want to know more about my camping equipment, please take a look at the Amazon links on my video description. The channel earns a tiny commission for purchases made with my links and it costs you nothing extra. Also, we still have several limited edition Coastal GX fishing shirts with UPF 50 protection. Order yours before they're gone. We have them in all sizes. Just email us at coastalgx at gmail.com to place your order. Thanks again for watching. Get up, get out, and do something. <laughs>